G'day, this is Cam from CraftyCAD.com and welcome to another mini video tutorial. In this tutorial I'll quickly be taking you through how to break down this, this reindeer model that I've built. Um, we'll put each of the elements into a plan view, we'll lay them all out so we can take it straight into Double CAD, put them onto sheets um, so we can print them out, stick them to some wood and then cut the, the wood into the shapes. So I've built this uh, reindeer just really quickly using um, sort of arcs and lines and extruding the shapes. Uh, now I've made one mistake which is to actually make these as groups rather than components, but that's alright, we can use that to our advantage um, by creating, turning these into groups and realigning the axes on each one. So to start with, I'm going to just start with this rear leg. So I'm going to use the move tool, holding control, create a copy of it. Now I'm actually going to explode this group and I'm going to turn it into a component. So I right click and go make component and I'm going to call this rear leg. And before I hit create, I'm going to click on this button that says, that says set component axes. Now this is the key step in this process which is going to realign all of these objects the way we need them. So you can see I've got this red, green and blue axis here. That corresponds to the main SketchUp axis. Now the thing to keep in mind when doing this is you want your main face to be perpendicular to this blue axis. Now at the moment you can see it's, it's sort of almost lining up with that blue axis. So I'm going to click on a right angle corner which makes this process a lot easier if you've got one of those in your model. So I'm going to click on that corner. Now the first axis I'm going to set is my red axis. So I'm going to click along that line and the second line I set is my green axis. Now you can see that the blue axis actually works perpendicular to whatever I set my green axis to. So I want my green axis to be parallel to this main face which makes my blue axis perpendicular to it. So I'm going to click along here and you can see that blue axis is actually pointing into the page which means that when I switch into a plan view this main face is going to be oriented correctly. So I hit create. Now you can see not much has really changed between my component and my block. You can see the bounding box is, is a bit closer in. Um, but to get this looking right, I'm going to delete that component and I'm going to open up my components browser. You may need to click on the little home icon to get the component we just created to show. But I'm going to click and drag that out onto my drawing and you can see it's actually oriented that as per the axis we just created. So my blue axis was pointing down so it sort of made that parallel to this main blue axis. So I'm going to repeat that for each of the elements in my model, um, working with my main face being parallel to that blue axis. So each of these has slightly different orientations, so I'll just work through piece by piece repeating that process. And I'll skip ahead so you don't have to watch it all. Okay, so you can see here that I've gone through that process for each of the elements in my model and set them up so they're all facing upwards. So when I switch into a top view they're all, all set out nicely for me to switch into Double CAD. So I'm just going to save this file, jump over into Double CAD, hit open. Now I want to make sure my files of type is set to SketchUp. So I just find the file that I've created, double click on it. Now it's asking me if I want to open as read only because I've still got the file open in SketchUp. I just hit yes for that. Now as soon as this opens you'll see that each of our pieces is set out nicely for us and we've still got our 3D model sitting there. So I'm just going to switch into a top view by going view, 3D views top and now I can set these out onto sheets. So to start with I'll just quickly set up my um, sheet properties for paper space. Changing my units to metric because it doesn't pull through um, the units correctly from SketchUp. So under page setup I'm just going to use my free PDF printer again. Um, A3's landscape for each of these and hit OK. Now under model space again I'm just going to make sure my units are set to metric and hit OK. Now a quick way to set these out onto sheets because they're not going to fit on one sheet I'm going to probably have to have about three or four sheets for these. 
I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to make the rectangle the size of an A3 sheet. So that's 420 by 297. Now I'm also going to offset a 10mm boundary just to give me a bit of a, a printing buffer. So now it's just a process of arranging these onto my sheets as, as I see fit to um, just set them out in the most efficient way possible. I'll create multiple copies of this sheet. Now one thing I will show you is that this main part here is not going to fit on one sheet because it's just too big. So an easy way to sort of um, set this up is to drag it on so it fits on one sheet then I'm going to make a copy of that whole thing Just copy that up and I'm going to use the X clip function. So under I'll click on modify, clip, X clip, select that block, hit enter. I type R into the command line and hit enter to draw a rectangular clip. And then I just draw a rectangle sort of that rough size of my sheet. Now you can see that's cut off that block there. This block's still fine, so I can actually use a line to set up a sort of a match line. So when we print this out, we can just cut around this and actually tape it to the to the bottom half. So again, I'll use the copy tool, just click a point that's common to both, and drop that on there. Now to do the second half, it's the same process, only in reverse. So I'd position this on the sheet so it all fits. Uh, modify, clip, X clip, and I just clip around the other end of the, the model. So nice and easy. Rectangular clipping. And there you have it. So I'll just move all of these pieces onto the sheets. So I'll probably even set up an isometric view with a, a rough sort of um, cutting length guide. Um, I'll create each of these um, sheets into a named view. So under view, name view, create a view and I'll just drag that box to be the A3 size. Call it sheet 1, sheet 2, etc. And then in paper space I'll just create a viewport um, and I've, I've run through this in previous tutorials so you can check those out on how to set up the scale correctly and get, get these all looking good. Um, that's pretty much it. So we just continue that process through and get these sheets set up. I'll put the SketchUp file, the PDFs of my sheets and the DoubleCAD files up on my website which is www.craftycad.com um, So take a look at those and see how I've set it up. And that's pretty much it. I'll post some, some progress photos of me actually building this model so we can see it go from sketch up to paper to life size. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to keep checking back for progress.